gonna head outside. I'm gonna take out the uh, the old anamorphic here. I like using the uh, the Moon Dogs Lab one, but the Moon Dog Labs is a special adapter, so I have to buy that adapter so I can use my ND filters and my Pro Mist. That's the only reason why I don't use my Moon Dog Lab one that I would like to use more. More, I, I totally like this one more than I do the uh, the moment. But at the moment, I just don't have that filter. So, yeah, I just use this one for now. But I'm gonna throw an ND filter on here because I'm gonna try to. Again, keep it as uh, close to shutter speed as uh, I can. Ooh. So I think I'm going to go with the ND8 and still probably won't be enough. I'll probably need to go ND16. Super dirty. I need to clean this thing. Yeah, I need to go. I need really like an ND21 when I do anamorphic stuff, but I don't have one, so I need to get one. I don't double stack because you'll be able to see. Normally, I would like to put the Pro Mist on top of here but I don't double stack because you'll start to see it in the edge of the frame. So. Now I was going to use MC Pro, but this ND filter is so blue. I'm using, I actually had to change the ND16 because it's so bright right now. And like, it just makes everything so blue that I just decided not to use it. So I'm just using the stock camera app Actually, now that I'm looking at the footage, it's not that bad. I probably could have just color corrected it and kept going, but oh well. And I'll de-squeeze everything in, in DaVinci Resolve. And it's nice because I can use the image stabilization of the, of the camera, I mean a little bit of it, to help uh, stabilize the shot. And it's just quick and easy and simple. And um, yeah, unfortunately, it's just, this ND is just not the best quality. That's something you don't see every day in America. Vending machines with cigarettes in it. Yeah. And then again, like this street, there's probably like maybe 10, 10 just on this little street that's less than a mile. And then the next machines are got like, you know, beer and stuff like that. And the land of vending machines, Japan. And you saw this shot here that I did I actually took two shots. The first one, I actually had the composition more with the bridge on one side, on the rule of thirds, and I went back and flipped it to the other side. It's just a better composition because the way the bridge is aiming, I'll show you the, the, uh, the basically the way I did it. When I first did this shot, I basically did a tilt up like this, and I'm using my rule of thirds, and one of my rule of thirds, let me lock that focus, one of my rule of thirds is aimed on this bridge right here my left rule of thirds. I have another one on the right side here, but not because we got this big open space of negative, which is not being used. So what I do is I just shift it over and I will do this shot instead. It's a better composition. We got the bridge leading down more towards the center there. Now we got less negative space over here. So again, this was the original shot. Just tilt up, tilt up like that. And this is the, the better version tilt up tilt up tilt up which do you like the first one or the second one i prefer this one average pace 11 minutes 54 seconds per kilometer duration 11 minutes 55 seconds you completed one kilometer heart rate 119 beats per minute so typically when i'm editing like that for a long time like i've been editing for like two and a half hours I'm working on the tour box review. Um, I like to take breaks by walking, just getting out, walk for 10 minutes, walk for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, my first class was canceled today, so that gave me more time. So taking about a 20 minute walk, just relieves the pressure on my shoulders. I got a lot of pressure on my shoulders, I notice when I'm, I'm working on the editing. And, and I have a stand-up desk, which is great for it relieves the lower back problems, but I notice I get a lot of tension in the shoulders. So take breaks, guys, take a lot of micro breaks just get out walk around the block or something really fast but it really helps to relieve everything and it helps all the eye strain all right now i'm going to head back and uh de-squeeze this stuff here really quickly and just show you i'm just using the stock app but every time i do take a shot i tap it and i bring down the exposure just a little bit to try to save some of the highlights in the sky 
But um, you know, this is what you can just do with a basic app and a anamorphic lens. And then of course you need DaVinci Resolve to de-squeeze everything, which is free. So let's head back.